Today I'm going to create this sultry foiled metallic burgundy smoky eye which I think is a great look for fall so if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. The first step is to prime the skin and here I'm using Dr. Brandt's Pores No More. And for my base, I'm gonna go for something a bit more glowy today, and I'm using the It Cosmetics CC Cream in the shade Medium. And I'm using a foundation blending brush from Bobbi Brown and blending in that base using circular motions. And always make sure to take the foundation down the neck just so the head and body are more cohesive. And for my brows, I'm using ColourPop's Brow Pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. And as always, I start off with combing through my brows so I can get a better look at the shape before filling them in with the pencil end. And this is quite a soft kind of formula and really, really pigmented. And then to set my brows in place, of course, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Pompa. Then moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna start off by first priming them with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Then moving on to my transition shade, I am using Anastasia Beverly Hills' Birkin, which is a kind of mid-tone peachy pink shade. I'm applying the bulk of the eyeshadow in that crease and with the remaining product on the brush, I just sweep it across the rest of the eye. Then for the start of the show, I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadow in the shade Showtime, which is a beautiful deep burgundy. And I'm using a flat shader brush to apply that to the mobile part of the lid, being sure to kind of stay under that crease. Then taking the same brush that I used, Birkin, with no additional product on it, I'm just gonna smooth out that um, top edge of the Showtime eyeshadow so that it's kind of less harsh. Then going in with Makeup Geek's eyeshadow in the shade Cherry Cola, I'm gonna start building up the intensity in the outer corner of the eye, just so it's a lot more smokier and it just creates that more sultry effect. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that Cherry Cola onto the inner corners of the eye and basically um, take any leftover cherry cola across the middle. So it's not kind of too dark going through the crease, but you definitely get a bit more definition. Then going in with a little bit more of Anastasia's Birkin, I am just gonna smooth out that top edge to make sure that Showtime and Cherry Cola are kind of blended in well with that transition shade. Then of course I'm gonna give my lashes a quick curl before moving on to my eyeliner. I am taking Colourpop's Gel Eyeliner in the shade Swerve, which is just a matte black, and basically lining my top lash line and also lining my waterline. I'm winging it out slightly so there's a tiny bit of a flick also. Then taking a pencil brush, I'm gonna mix together Makeup Geek's Bada Bing and Cherry Cola to get a really kind of dark brownish red. And I'm gonna use it to smoke out that pencil so it's more of a kind of hazy, diffused look from the lash line. And then to really define my kitten flick, I'm gonna go in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm just gonna go right over the pencil and really sharpen up that flick. And because I felt like I lost a bit of that intensity and darkness along the lash line, I'm going back in with that ColourPop eyeliner and redrawing in that line before going in again with Bada Bing and Cherry Cola and smoking it out even further. So this is kind of a bit of a process, just continue building it up until you get the intensity that you want. Then for my lashes, I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal's Telescopic False Lash Mascara, I think that's the right way around, and just give it a quick coat. Then moving on to concealing my under eye bags, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral, before going in with a little bit of Max Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost to brighten up and highlight um, areas of the face, primarily below the eyes above the cheekbones, but also down the center of the face as well. And I'm using the same Naked Skin Concealer to conceal some of the redness and blemishes around my nose. Then I'm taking my Morphe G2 brush and I'm gonna to start to blend all of that concealer and highlighter work out. And I tend to use patting motions as opposed to swiping motions as you don't really want to move the product. Highlighting as well as contouring will help to create some dimension to the face, otherwise it can look quite flat with just the foundation on. Then to set all of that in place, I am gonna go in with my RMCA No Color Powder and apply a really light layer. Then 
Then I'm going to just throw on my favourite lashes before finishing off the eyes. And first off, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and apply Showtime along the bottom lash line from the outer corner to the inner corner. Then taking a little bit of Colourpop's pencil in a swerve, I'm just going to really define that outer corner of the bottom lash line before going in with Makeup Geek's Bada Bing and Cherry Cola Mix to really smoke out that bottom lash line. And then I'm taking a little bit of Anastasia's Birkin and really softening out the edge of those dark shades along the lower lash line just so it's a bit more diffused. Then for my bottom lashes, I am going to apply MAC's Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. And for the final touches on the eye, I am going to mix together Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop, the two highlighter collaborations between Jaclyn Hill and Becca. And I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of the eyes to really brighten that up. And then for my brown bone highlight, I'm going to take a little bit of Makeup Geek's Mirage and just blend it under the arch of the brow and also kind of soften out that Birkin shade so it's more of a gradient transition. Then I'm going to dust a little bit of the RMCA No Colour Powder across my cheeks before applying my powder products. I'm going to start with contouring and for that I'm using the contour shade in the Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit and I am nestling that powder just in the hollows of my cheek but then I'm blending upwards so that it gives more of a soft gradient effect and kind of any residual product I like to take up along the hairline mainly around my temples but also down along the jawline. Then again with the residual product on the brush I'm taking it down either side of my nose just to kind of create the illusion of a slimmer nose. Then going in with the bronzing powder in the same palette I'm going to start to warm up my complexion and I am applying it straight over where I applied the contour just to kind of soften it out and I am also taking it along the kind of hairline also kind of around my jaw so basically around the entire perimeter of my face and also down the neck then for blush I'm going to apply rose spritz from the champagne collection face palette the collaboration between Jaclyn Hill and Becca before again mixing the two highlighters from the same palette to apply as my cheekbone highlight I'm taking that basically onto the tops of my cheekbone but also dragging it up above the arch of the brow as well and I don't normally do this but for that extra glow factor I'm applying a little bit to the cupid's bow but also at the tip of my nose as well then for my lips I've opted for something a bit more natural considering we've gone quite bold on the eyes and for that I'm using H&M's cream lipstick in the shade cream chestnut which is a beautiful beigey pink and for the final step, I am setting my makeup so that it will last all day with the Models Prefer Finale Setting Mist. And there you have it, a dark, sultry, burgundy, smoky eye. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!